Hello again everyone, this is Kristen. Welcome back to my channel. Today I am going to be unboxing the Ink Flight for April 2023. Okay, so how in the world am I going to open the package without having a package? <laughs> I had to go get the package. <gasps> oh, okay. <laughs> I love the extras. I love the extras. Okay, so it looks like we've got Ferris Wheel Press inks and Diamond and Colorverse. Happy April. No fooling this year. Okay, instead of riddles, riddles and puzzles that left most of our frequent flyers stumped, we decided to identify each color, each ink color as usual. This month, we gathered fun spring-like colors from several ink manufacturers. Okay, okay. <laughs> In collaboration with one of the world's most prestigious brands of writing instruments, Mobile Mobile graciously provided their top of the line flagship fountain pen to every one of our ink flight subscribers. I wish, man. For nearly a hundred years, the Meisterstück is one of the most well-known collections of Mont Blanc pens, easily recognized by the iconic white snowflake atop the rounded cap finial. <laughs> April Fool, sorry I couldn't help myself. <laughs> This most box does include a pen you can use for life. This glass tip of the, okay, JF, round glass dip pen won't ever rust or wear out over time. Okay, cool. So, interesting thing. Oh, this is lovely. Oh, see, I've been looking at this Esterbrook J, the JR, for the longest time, and I have not pulled the trigger. I think I'm going to wait just a little bit longer. I have not yet decided, but this is a lovely pen, so I can have the Esterbrook JR without having the Esterbrook JR. I had a glass dip pen many years ago, very early on in my fountain pen journey, and I broke it pretty early on, which is why I ended up buying this plastic one, one with a, a cap and pretty durable tip. Now that I'm a little bit more, I guess, experienced and a little more um, mature and wise about it, hopefully, all right, as I'm doing all of this, this roughness to the packaging, hopefully we'll keep this one in one piece. This is nice. I'm gonna try it. We're gonna try it this time around. Instead of using my handy dandy non glass dip pen, we're gonna try it with the Urban glass dip pen. I recently discovered that this is 68 GSM Tamoy River paper. This is 52 GSM Tamoy River paper from Hobonichi. And I've also got Weeks paper, so the cream 52 GSM um, Tamoy River paper. I'm gonna test that out. We've got some coloring cards. I've got a sheet of Midori on the side as well, just in case, you know, some of these inks want to do some funny business. Ferris Wheel Press, Central Park Greens. So that'll be the first one. Oh my goodness, the Purple Jade Rabbit. So these, these are the types of colors that I'm so excited about trying, but I don't really have high hopes for them outside of using a glass dip pen. Laban, okay, Aries. And then Diamond by Coat Pens, Taj Mahal, Coliseum. Ooh. I was interested in, yeah, these, um, what are these, the Wonders of the World series? Tang Piong, Dan Wang. All right, so we've got our cards ready. Oh, yes. So please disregard the poor manicure. This was a cover up of um, a previous ink explosion. Oh, um, you will see that in another video coming really soon. Okay, so first one, Central Park Greens. This lush grassy green is inspired by Ferris Wheel Press's trip to New York City in 2022. No shimmer, a nice green color. <laughs> okay, so yeah, that's as far as it will go in there. Let's see if that's actually enough. It's got a rough spot. Okay, so I have to tip it a little bit to get a little bit more ink on the nib. So it's a little bit better once you find a little sweet spot for this, this pen. It seems like a pretty light color. A very light, bright screen, spring, spring green. This is actually a very light ink. First we'll prep it, press Purple Jade Rabbit. So this one has shimmer. Celebrating the Lunar New Year, this delicate purple ink has a pelt of silver shimmer. 
I believe, I think that Ferris Wheel Press does their, their lavenders, their purples. They do it so well. And it hurts my feelings that it is so, so dry in a fountain pen. And see if I can find this sweet spot. <laughs> this is not pleasant on coloring paper. On thick, rough, watercolor type paper, this is not a pleasant experience at all. Yeah, I'm tearing paper. Oh, but that shimmer is so nice. Yes, this is a very light ink. I might not be very happy putting this one in a pen. I do like how Central Park Greens is showing up on paper. I actually thought it was going to be much lighter uh, because of the writing right here. I believe if I put it in a wet pen that it will probably be a really nice color to use. This looks almost metallic going down on the card. So the next ink is Laban Aries from the Greek mythology collection. This cherry red ink shades with a hint of sheen. All right, let's take a look. Mm-hmm. I like how bold the red is though. I'm not normally a red ink type of person, but it looks like this is a deeper, um, a deeper shade of red. I'm starting to like this red. I really like this, this deep. This is what I would imagine like a vampire red to be. Oof, yes. I'm actually loving Le Bon Aries and I was not expecting to. Dye mine and cult pens Taj Mahal. Part of the Wonders of the World collection, this deep blue color draws inspiration from the lapis lazuli, lapis lazuli stones found in the mosaic art inside the Taj Mahal. Okay. This is such a deep blue. Wow, yes. This really coats the pen. I love how dark it is. <laughs> wow, it actually matches my nails. I can see the ink actually riding up the ridges. Probably how I ended up getting ink on my fingers, the red on my fingers. Colosseum. This light sandy brown color represents the travertine limestone building materials used in the Colosseum. I'm so excited and also so worried because that looked, this looks like a very light ink, um, at least in the colors that I've seen. I'm sorry, the photos that I've seen online of the Colosseum. I'm just curious about how similar this one looks to other inks like Arena Blanca. This is very light, but I still like it. I guess this is a time when I would need to figure out how to, how to use this white lightning from Venice pins.
Colorverse Tang Pyong. This series observes the six kings of Korea's longest imperial dynasty. The color is a shading dusky purple. Hmm. I'm excited to see. Ooh. Yes, I'm excited. <laughs> Let's take a look at this purple. I'm loving the purple. I love the purple. This deep bluish purple, cool tone purple with just enough saturation to keep it from looking gray. I really do love muted purples. Yes, 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 yes. This is, this is good. So far, this is my favorite color. But I'm getting all this purple on my fingers from the, all these inks on my finger from the, the glass nib. Dan Huang from the Minhwa series inspired by Korean folk art. This pale gold ink captures the softness of the lotus flower. It's a pale gold. I thought it was a red. Oh, okay. All right, let's see if this is going to be a legible ink. Oh my gosh, this is very light. That is so yellow. This might be the most yellow ink I've ever had. I don't normally go for yellows. Yes, I feel like I really need to figure out how to identify the sweet spot on this fountain, on this, this dip pen, because I'm scratching the paper. I'm so sorry. All right, so we finished swatching all of the inks and sampling on all of the papers. Taking a look at Ferris Wheel Press Central Park Greens. It looks really light on this coloring paper, but on Tamoy River, it actually, it looks dark enough to write with. Let me see if I have any, any ink samples that are pretty close. Since next to Sela Ink Studio 280, Bamboo Shoots is a bit too yellow. Chikurin is a bit yellower as well. Krishna Gat Green. Alt Gold Grün. Sea Kelp. Okay, Peter Moss versus Central Park Green. So both Ferris Wheel Press inks. Oh, another Peter Moss. <laughs> and I think that's, let's go back over here. Oklahoma City, Venezuela Lime. That's pretty close. I'll say Ukikusa is a bit more saturated and it's slightly more yellow. This is how it looks on the cream Tamoy River paper. I really do like how Purple Jade Rabbit shimmers, but I do not like how, how light the Purple Jade Rabbit is. And the same thing with Colorverse Dan Wang. It's actually legible once it dries on Tamoy River paper, on the white Tamoy River paper. It's a bit more difficult to read it here since the paper is a bit more cream, but it has like this haloing effect at the edge of the lines. It does help a little bit, but I don't, I can't see myself actually using that as an everyday writing ink. Aries is nice. I really liked how it went on wet because it seemed to be much darker when it was wet and it lightened to a standard shade of red. Taj Mahal is nice, is a nice, bold, deep blue. I like how deep it is. And Coliseum, I wanna see that next to some of the samples that I have. And Tang Pyong is my favorite. This is my favorite one so far, and I'm probably gonna ink this one up for the month of April. If you've seen my April 2023 currently inked video, you probably already know that I've got, I believe, eight pens inked up and I left space. I left room for this month's ink flight. I'm allowing myself two ink flight inks 
for this month. I want to add Colorverse Tang Pyong. I am curious about this one, but I already have Leonardo Blue inked up in the Asphine V126. I'm so curious about this one, but I'm also so worried about it. But I'm so curious about this yellow because I've never seen a yellow like this before. This is Colorverse Dan Wang. If I add two inks to my April 2023 lineup, it is going to be these two down here because I love this one and because I'm just so curious about this one. I'm the most curious about this yellow ink. And so this is on 68 GSM Tamoy River paper. This is so beautiful. I love that shimmer. But this Taj Mahal is nice. I like the deepness of this Taj Mahal. Oh, this is my favorite. This one, I actually really do love the shade of yellow. It's so calm, but I have no idea what it's gonna look like when I try and write with it. It looked so light, so pale, but it's like a warm pale yellow which I love and I wanna see how much haloing there is at the edges of these letters, at the edges of the, the strokes when I write with this ink. So these are gonna be my two additional inks for the month of April and look to see a, a review of those two inks. I really do like this one. I really like how this one went on darker. I want a darker red. This is how the inks look on white Midori paper. So this is the Central Park Greens, the Purple Jade Rabbit, Aries, Laban Aries, and we've got the Diamond Cult Pens Taj Mahal and the Coliseum. And this is the Tang Pyong and Dan Huang, Midori paper and Tamoy River paper. So it looks like the Central Park Greens is a bit lighter on here, but it may also just be my application. I might've had less ink on there. Oh, but yeah, do you see that? Do you see that? The yellow. I love the edging. I love the red or the, the reddish orange edge around the ink. And I love how it does that on some more river paper. So that makes me feel a little bit better that maybe it's going to be a bit more bold on some more river paper. I feel like the other ones are actually brighter on the Midori paper. My favorite three are these three and I wanna try these two. Let's check out some ink comparisons. So I've already done comparisons for Central Park Greens. Let's take a look at these against Don Huang since I already have it here. Um, Diamine Razzmatazz is a bit greener. Same thing with uh, Krishna Cassiophora, Platinum Citrus Black. Let's take a look at my warmer ones, warmer colors. Oh, see, yes. That's what I was thinking. That Diamine at Colt Pence, the Coliseum color was pretty close to Monarca, Arena Blanca. These are so similar to each other. So if you have one, you don't really need the other. I wonder which one is a wetter ink. I am pretty confident in Diamine inks because so far the inks that I've been using from the, uh, the 2022 Ink Bank calendar, I've been so pleased by my experiences so far. So I would be more inclined to, to try this one out. These are some other comparisons with those inks. Now we're getting into the, the golden colors. That's nice. I like how this one, this is a shimmery ink, very subtle shimmer, but I like how this one is a little bit more illegible than the Colorverse Dan Huang. So really this is my first ever truly yellow ink. Cause I've got like the oranges, the ones that are just so bright. They're almost there, you know, almost there. Honey Bee Eater Chin is such a bright color, but I love how mellow this one is. I really, I really cannot overstate how much I love the mellowness of this color. And this is like the mellow part of the Stipula Saffron. I forgot the updated name of this one. Yeah. Okay. And so now going into the reds, let's take a look. Fire Opal from Monteverde, Dominant Industry Maple, Empire Red, Sindor, Burnt Orange. Okay. So this is actually going closer getting closer into the shades of red that i really do like these warm deep colors yes these are yes if i could have a red that's deep like this and warm like this i actually really do love this color it's just it's too light on some more river paper I want a deep dark or like, like this color onto more river paper. So these are my other reds that are a little bit more brown. So yeah, but I don't want the cool burgundy, the wine colors 
I'd rather have like a real red, but just deep. I want this red onto my river paper. So if anybody knows of a color, a shade of red that would look like this on this paper, please let me know. All right, so let's take a look at our purples. Sailor Shikiori, Yasakura, Queen Allium by Ferris Wheel Press as well. So this has a golden shimmer. This is a bluish silver shimmer. Scaviosa. Oh, I love this color. I'm going to try this color one day. So this looks really close to a little Robinia, but it's a little bit cooler in tone. Dominant Industry Sunset. Sunset actually has a pink, a champagne pink shimmer. So they look very similar to each other. Tasmanian Lavender by Van Diemen's. Memory Lane. I actually have this one inked up. And I prefer the deepness of this color over Purple Jade Rabbit. Foxglove. Nice. Las Vegas by Robert Oster. Sugar Plum by Manuscript. I would even take this one over the Purple Jade Rabbit. So it actually gives you that purple look. I mean, it doesn't have like the, the multi-shading type thing, but it's got that similar shim shimmer and it is much more legible. This is next to Hiroshige Nakamurasaki. I, I'm so sorry. Violet Blue. This was um, a really, really big hit with me. I don't really know if I have something similar to this color. Diamond Violet. Purple Mojo. I actually really like this pen. I mean, this ink in my Shelm Design pen. I got a few more colors. Kyoko, Orgona, Neko Yanagi. One More Sleep, Bashful Blueberry, Nightshade. One More Sleep might be the closest that I have to this, this color. Um, Tanzanite Sky by Ferris Wheel Press is a little bit more blue and Ghost Ship is more saturated and a deeper color. Looking at my blues, these are a bit too turquoise. This is Taj Mahal next to Ruri. Sailor's Blue by Krishna, Stars and Stripes, Colorverse. Cenote is a shimmery and sheeny ink. So everything else is like a brighter blue. And that's it next to Ghost Ship. And this is more of a purple or a blurple color. I need to file away my diamond, my, yeah, my infant colors. This is Laban next to Laban Aries next to Diamond Spiced Apple. Actually, very similar red. Cardinal. Truffle. I've really loved using that one. Apple Teeny, much more saturated, a brighter color. Upon a Star, Three Kings, Olive Swirl, Silent Night, Arctic Blast, Cozy Up. I'm sorry, not Cozy Up. This is uh, Deck the Halls. <laughs> Those are all of the ink comparisons that I can offer you on these inks for the April 2023 ink flight. Um, once again, this is Tamoa River and Midori Paper. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments. And if you have any suggestions on an ink that you know will look this deep, dark red and rich and warm at the same time on Tamoa River Paper, please remember to let me know. So once again, I'm going to be trying Nope, not you. These two inks. I'm going to ink, be inking these up and checking them out for the next few days, the rest of the month of April. These are my, my swatches for Ink Flight April 2023. Thank you so much for watching. I hope this was helpful for you. And until next time, have a great day. Okay, so I just saw something in here. I believe this might be sandpaper for the nib itself. I wish I had known this beforehand, but now I know. So I can go in and really work on this nib so that I can get that perfect feel no matter which way I turn the pen. Thank you so much, Urbain, for adding this to the packaging. This will actually help you to customize this dip nib to be exactly what you want it to be. So thank you so much for watching. Have a wonderful evening.